So tonight we're gonna find out if I can follow directions. Good evening, model citizens. I hope everyone is having a great night. Tonight is Sidetrack Sunday, the second Sidetrack Sunday of April. I can't believe it is April already. Let's take a moment, see who's here. Uh, tonight, uh, sorry, rewind. Uh, we're gonna see if I can follow directions tonight. That's, that's the plan for tonight. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Please let me know, uh, and we'll need to get a, a consensus on this because it may be working okay, or it might not be working okay, but I am overdriving my computer right now a little bit. So if you see a bunch of stuttering, just let me know. Uh, we'll, we'll get it worked out, but I am, uh, I'm trying something new and we'll see if it's gonna work. <laughs> Who knows what's gonna happen. Uh, tonight for Sidetrack Sunday, we've got Adam Cruz in the house, Al Mars here, Anthony Dodge, the model train outsider, Ben Got You Junction, Carl Bronze here, Brian Rock Rail Fan, Caboose 121, Connor All Nuts, also known as 8098, David Atkins about to head out for uh, supper, Don Head's in the house, Dwight Curley's here, Ethan Armitage, welcome to the stream, Fred Wilde's in the house, James Galton, Joe Raider, Black Rock Central Railroad, Ken N's in the house, Ian from Lehigh River Subdivision, Lynn McCurdy in the High Desert Modular Model Railroad Club, 
Manny Fernandez joining us as well. Martin Searsman is here. Marty M is in the house. Uh, Greg from Midsummer Railway and Scale. Andrew, Mr. Pictova is here. Nathan DeLay has joined us. Bill from New Fenris Railroad. Norman Rowe, Ray Bobel, Roger Coleman, Roy Eltham in the house. We got Southern Yankee Trains. Dave from Sparky 107107. We got Thomas Split Rock. You used to be 323, is now just Split Rock. We got Steve 87th P PSAP. We've got the High Plains Railroad. And last but not least, it's Steven from Wig Wag uh, Workshop. You know, it's kind of exciting. We got, a, we got 46 people here already uh, just to see if I can uh, follow directions or not. So it, it, should, be, uh, it should be an interesting uh, evening. Uh, Nathan DeLay wants to know, Heath, uh, did you have Legos while you were a kid? And if so, do you still have them? Had a ton of Legos as a kid. I actually made a monastery out of Legos for a school project because, I don't know. Uh, my sister uh, now has all my Legos. Her, well, her kids, I guess, uh, technically have all the Legos. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's the story. Uh, Mike the Rail Artist is also here. He doesn't want to be forgotten. Yeah, I apologize uh, if I miss some people. Some people are still coming in, like Dakman, who uh, joined myself and Andy a step over the weekend and went and saw the, uh, the New York Society of Model Engineers, and he had a great time. If you want to hear Dakman saying wow, like just over and over again, uh, watch one of his <laughs> latest videos. Uh, Don had sadly, I don't have my childhood Lego collection anymore. That said, since I have kids, I can enjoy theirs. Yeah, like it's hard, like to know what to uh, what to keep and what not to keep. Uh, the High Plains Railroad. I thought, did I did I say your name wrong? I know I said your name, but I may have I may have messed it up. I probably messed it up. Who really knows? Uh, one exciting piece of news I got going on is the Z scale is running again. I did uh, end up messing up one of my favorite locomotives, but uh, the back and forth Z scale is now on its own separate shelf, doing its own little thing going over over the bridge and uh, back and forth. So that's kind of exciting. Yeah, <laughs> Andy and I were there and it was just so great to see how excited uh, Sean was to uh, to see the layout um, as well. So yeah, Lynn keeps saying, wow. Every time I tell him that I, I messed up my locomotive, he's, he says, wow, which uh, uh, yeah, I like Legos. I like putting together Legos. I find it, uh, I find it a lot of fun. I find it a lot of fun. Uh, so we do have uh, some trains going in the background. Uh, that shelf, which used to have the Z scale on it is now just H O and N. I don't have the end scale layout. Once the end scale layout gets set up, we'll move that end scale out of there uh, as well. And we'll, uh, that'll just be HL up there. But for now, we still got a little bit of, a uh, little bit of dual train action going up there. Let's see what else we got up on the top. Uh, well, the G scale is just, they're both pulling away right now, but the G scale is going up top. We've got the O scale going up there uh, as well. So <laughs> yeah, like Legos, that, that was our prep for, uh, for Ikea, wasn't it? Um, o gauge is going fantastic. I didn't put the O60 corner in yet. I still need to, uh, I still need to do that, but there's the G scale. It's coming around the corner now. Uh, so it's, it's getting there. Uh, things are happening. Let's see what else do I have to show you. Um, this rig right here, I went and I sold the lens that used to be on this rig. No, that's not true. I sold two lenses <laughs> that used to work for this rig but and, and got this new one. Uh, what this new one's gonna allow me to do is get much closer. Uh, so, the book here on the table, uh, that's that's the jib on it. It can get much closer, read, uh, you know, read things much closer. So you can see the size of my hands. 
So I should be able to get in nice and close, which should be, uh, I think, a lot of uh, a lot of fun. Uh, I also, if you notice, I've got some side cameras now. So there's there's that camera on that side, and then this camera on this side. And I'm trying. So what I'm doing new is as I build this Lego thing, the plan is is that I'm recording it and I'm gonna cut it up but we'll see, we'll see what happens. So I happen to be talking to uh, Container Man about uh, this specific uh, Lego kit, which is the Crocodile, uh, the Swiss electric locomotive. A lot of people know I like the GG1, uh, which, you know, also another electric. This is the Lego one that they have. Uh, some people were joking in my thumbnail, I put 18 plus. This kit says 18 plus on it. So this is an 18 plus kit. But So part of what I love about this kit is on Amazon, they have this lighting detail kit. So I'm going to put together the locomotive and then we're going to light it up. So when I put it on the shelf back here, it's, uh, it's going to look great. That's really, uh, it's really all it comes down to. So price, uh, we can talk about that real quick. The set when it originally came out was $99. If you look for the set now, you'll find it pretty much for 150, 175 uh, price has gone up because it was discontinued. So now that it is uh, discontinued, a little harder to get and whatnot, but this past weekend was uh, Metka, uh, the, Metropolitan Train Collectors Association had a swap meet at the, uh, there's a church next to the New York Society of Model Engineers. So I went and they happened to have this there and the guy was selling it for a hundred dollars. So I had just been talking to Roy about it. Um, Roy Container Man Roy. So I, uh, I jumped on it. I jumped on it. Why, why are we saying, What's going on with Ray? What happened to Ray? I don't know. I don't know what just happened. Betty releases the blue smoke. The no, no blue smoke. I mean, this is this is uh, um, this lighting kit is the is the electronics on this, and I shouldn't, I, I shouldn't blow it up. But the idea is these little, you know, these little green things here instead are going to be replaced with lights. So I thought that would be really cool for, um, don't leave us out, it's not just Metka. Yeah, I, I said, didn't I say the New York Society of Model Engineers? Uh, Metka and New York Society of Model Engineers do a swap meet together. I think they do two a year or something like that. Oh, he said I was going to light it up. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> light. <laughs> um... I won't get past the tape. So funny you say that. Uh, the box is actually already open. I already got the tape open. I actually looked through, and uh, I can tell you I've already got a problem. I know, shocking, right? I've already got a problem. So here's where my problem is. So this one says one. Let's put the lighting kit aside. This one says one. And this one says one. This one and this one are not the same. Uh, this says 721R0 and this says 722R0. I don't know why there are two ones, but if we keep going, you'll notice there's also two twos, but the two is different than this two. So I've got the twos also, and, and then you get to the threes, this one's not even labeled. I don't know why this one's not even labeled, but this has three, this is four. There's, there's three fours. So four, four, and four. Um, and so here, so there's several threes, there's several ones. I don't know what to do. Uh, you which, but those so both one bag should be open during phase one. Uh, so if you've never if you've never seen 
how these books work. Uh, essentially, it tells you to like open number one, and it tells you that you know one is going to build this, and then oh, it went fuzzy. Uh, it becomes clear as you work the instruction book. I hope so. Um, and then like two, three, and four are going to build the build the train itself, and essentially. You just you just open up number one, I guess, and uh, and we're gonna start working on it. So, they're seeing whether or not I'm over eighteen. I should be able to figure this out. I I say I should because uh, you really never know. <laughs> yes, I am definitely gonna use instructions for this. If you've ever put together these kind of kits, they are very specific as to how everything goes together um, to the point, oh, this camera is not, uh, uh, to the point where like step one, you know, it's very specific what it, what it shows you, uh, come on, focus. I got this lens hoping that it would be, it would focus a little better. Let's, uh, let's make it manual focus and let's just, Let's just dial it in, see what we get. There we go. Uh, yeah, so like step one. Uh, so I guess that's the first thing, right? Is we just got to get through step one and then, uh, and then we go through there. So Nathan, uh, this, uh, this kit doesn't come with a motor. You've got two options basically with this kit. You could either get the motor and make it motorized and run it on Lego track, or you can get the light kit. If you put the light kit in, the motor also doesn't fit apparently. So uh, that's the situation. I'm gonna do the light kit because I'm not planning on another set of Legos or another set of tracks. Uh, so I want that to be, you know, something just in the background that'll It'll light up uh, and stuff like that. Uh, I will not be opening all of the stuff at once. Uh, so I'm, it's, it's not a new camera, it's a new lens. So the new lens, I was hoping, I was hoping the new lens was gonna be a little better at focusing close up, but for some reason it is having a very difficult time focusing on the instructions, but it focuses really well on that. So, so there is, uh, there is that. Uh, let's go with opening all the bags. Let's not. Uh, I have the motor. Lego support will tell you how to do it. Yeah, I can put a motor in it. Uh, I just, I'm more choppier than the Illinois River. I'm curious. I, I wish supper was ready. I'm curious, am I choppy? Uh, do other people agree or uh, do I seem to be in pretty good shape? So let's, uh, well, it looks like I need one of these first. So let's, <laughs> let's, let's jump in. So if people don't know, I'm, uh, or, or the reason why when somebody says it's choppy uh, that I'm sort of stopping and, and asking about it is because I'm recording the three cameras. I'm recording the two side cameras and the overhead camera in addition to streaming. So there is a chance that uh, the computer, I'm at 75% GPU, but it bounces up every once in a while to 100. So we'll see. I'm not dumping everything out. And yes, I did find small plastic bags inside the big plastic bags. So this, this is fun. This is for, uh, this piece right here is gonna get this little sticker on it. Uh, so we'll, we'll do that when the instructions say to do it. Let's, let's start at the beginning of the instructions. So instructions say I need one of these. I need, I need two, 
two of these little squares and it looks like the little squares are just in here. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get scissors. I'm gonna open this so I don't get everything all over the place. <laughs> oh, come on, where's the confidence? Somebody tell me, how, how's the poll doing? Are, 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 people, are people more confident now that we've started or, or less confident uh, in the poll? 37% say I won't even get past step one. So, uh, you know, right, right now I'm working on step one. So I got one of these. I need two of these. And I need two. I need two. Four. So it's like this. Ah, they're in here. So apparently step one is open all the little bags. They even gave me a little uh, tool. This tool apparently helps you take them apart. Uh, usually instructions say read all the, <laughs> all the instructions first. I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do. All right, so, oh, come on, focus, there we go. So we're going here, we're going here, we're going here, and we're going there. And that's it. Oh, the poll won't let you vote, David? Maybe, uh, try refreshing maybe, that might, uh, that might help. I've never used the Lego tool. When I was a kid, when I was a kid, I don't think these existed. But yeah, I mean, they're supposed to help you uh, uh, do this. So I actually built one of these, I think about two years ago. It wasn't a, uh, looks like an SD40-2. No, it's a crocodile. Um, I built something when I was at BlizzCon. They had one of the characters for one of the Blizzard games or something. And uh, that was that was one of the things. Okay, so here we are. We're on to step two, folks. Step two. <laughs> this is exciting, right? So step two says to take one, two, three, one of these and one of these. So if I don't get too distracted, um, I, I'm not planning on gluing this together yet. Maybe put it in a bag and shake if it puts itself together. There you go. Uh, if you start coming on a piece, Rick Bailey will have to 911 because he knows where he lives. Uh, it's true, Rick's been here. Although Andy would probably, uh, probably get there uh, first. So yeah, my dad actually has a Lego, uh, a whole Lego setup. Round and round it goes. Oh, here we go. Look, we're making ties. One, two. So this part probably isn't going to be very exciting, but I think I think what we're making is just the um, is just the base. You know, the whole uh, the the whole what do they call it? The track. The track. That's the thing. That, the track, that's what we got. Yeah, I don't know where Container Man is. I told him I was putting this together tonight. I thought he was going to be here. If he shows up, I have some other stuff uh, to show. Uh, to show. Yeah, this is... Sparky says if everyone stops chatting for three minutes, Heath might get a few parts together. Uh, but then again, he he might again think the chat is frozen. That is true. That's true. Okay, so now I need a long one. I bet you this is where I open this one up. Oh, Container Man is here. Oh. Uh, so Container Man's here. Uh, so Roy, oh, where the, I'm, I'm looking for the scissors that are right in front of me. Uh, Roy, when do you want to give away the foam? Do we want to give away the foam now, or should we, uh, should we torture people and make them sit here and watch me put some of this together for a little bit first? I'm all up for 
I'm up for torturing people, but you know, other people might uh, other people might disagree. All right, so that so I'm on step four. I'm on step four. It said open that open first. ADD Heath. Oh, a hundred percent, hundred percent. I break out the glue and the soldering iron. I might glue this at some point, but probably not right now. So that goes there. That goes there. I um supposedly I have pretty good what they call um mechanical aptitude and spatial awareness. So theoretically, theoretically, I should be able to put this together um, without, you know, immense amounts of difficulty. That said, trying to uh, read the chat and put this together at the same time is uh, definitely going to be difficult. Uh, you don't glue Lego. So, uh, people that do the, the kits actually do glue Legos. It is actually a thing. Um, so that goes there, and this and this. I should probably look at the directions like a little bit closer, but I'm just kind of, just kind of winging it, you know? I mean, there's, I, I figure, I figure I'll be, uh, close enough, right? I mean, you know, how, how accurate do I really need to be? Just kind of, just keep guessing, right? Just kind of put it together <laughs> yeah theoretically i should be able to put it together uh this is a uh this is a stream of a stem project you could say it's a stream of a steam project because i like adding i like the art part of it as well i think that that is i i, I like adding the art part to um uh to these type of projects so we're getting there. <laughs> so the other key is going to be me not actually losing anything as I as I put this um put this together, but you know, who knows? I, I feel like I'm already missing a piece because I can't find I need one more of these. I need one more of these to finish off the track and I'm not seeing it. There it is. There it is. I have never seen any of the Lego movies. Uh, that is one thing I have never seen. So if anybody's counting, I am on step 11 right now. Ooh, step 12 is actually a tough one. Uh, step 12. Oh, I think I may have done something. Oh, nope. I didn't do something wrong. Uh, so I thought, uh, you know, this started at the end and I was looking at this picture here and it shows that it, I'm doing it right. That's, that's all that matters is I'm doing it right. Um, yeah, I know, I don't think you need to glue any Lego stuff. I know that some people do though. Panicking already. Not, not quite panicking yet, Norman. Oh, Split Rock. Those are some terrible dad jokes. Uh, yes, this is just the track for now. Uh, this is what uh, bag one, or the, the three bags that are bag one, all they are is the, uh, all they are is the track. Uh, did Container Man a answer me about when, when we want to do the giveaway? And did I completely miss it? Or did he not answer it? Nancy, you have this one too. Did you put it together yet? I'm curious to know how it, uh, how it went because uh, something tells me this might be a little bit of an adventure. Don't second guess myself. Uh, Sparky, he won't finish tonight. Uh, my thought is if I don't finish tonight, I'll try and finish it on Tuesday night. Uh, non flex track. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Do they make? Uh, 
do they make flex track for Legos? I didn't realize there was going to be so much repetition. Uh oh. <laughs> Lego my train and give it back. Well, I've already put it together wrong. I already made a mistake. I was talking and I wasn't paying attention. That's really going to be the interesting thing to, to figure out is if I can keep talking. Wait, they they really make Lego flex track? I didn't realize that that was uh, I didn't realize that was really true. Anyone that watched the Lego movies know there is no Kroglu when you build Legos. Yeah, see, I, I didn't I didn't watch the movies. I thought some people used glue, but maybe you know I I've been wrong probably several times already today, so it wouldn't it wouldn't really surprise me if I uh, if I got something wrong. Uh, let's see, I got a couple more of these to go, and now so now that I got that, I got to go through and put all of these along the edge uh did anyone see glue in the instructions no I'm, I'm sure there's no glue in the instructions but if i wanted to put this together permanently then uh i think glue would uh glue would work you need foam there are only two feet by two feet square that ain't that big i know container man we talked about giving away the foam so i was going to give away the foam tonight and i was just asking so uh container man uh, sent me a couple things. One of them was some uh, two foot by two foot uh, blue foam. Uh, this this stuff over here. And I know there are some model railroaders that could use some foam. So my thought was that uh, I would give it away uh, during tonight's stream. Oh, two pages in the middle are glued together. Uh, Spellrex says, I always use glue on my projects. Sometimes I use it on the kit. See, I'm not the only one. Uh, bet when he moves it from the desk to the shelf, it falls and he has to rebuild it. Ray, come on. Although, uh, it's probably true. It's probably true. Oh, I was at... <laughs> Container Man was asking chat who needs foam. Because if people need foam, we can do a giveaway. I'm getting, somebody's over here like calling me. Let's see, who's, who's, uh, um, all good, Roy? All good? Oh, Nathan sent me the trailer to the Lego movie. <laughs> Other people are texting me saying, no glue, no glue. <laughs> I'm not using glue right now. Uh, Norman likes foam and Adam needs foam. Uh, if we give away the foam tonight, that's the same foam we use away because I couldn't get the larger sheets. Yeah, I can't get the larger sheets here in New York City either. Uh, so I actually have a box of that foam up there. Uh, but Container Man was nice enough to uh, send that to me. So I'd like to uh, forward it along to people that might need it. The room is too small for glue. I'm gonna glue the glue the room together. Thank you, Andrew. Oh, I guess I should put back on the camera. Um, so uh, this camera that's up right now and this other camera over here uh, was actually a camera recommendation from uh, Mr. Pictovid. So these are uh, Panasonic HC180Vs. Uh, let's see if that's going to focus for me. Hello, Happy Valley. Hello, Mike B. No Otter Creek. We're only on the first bag. Yes, we are on the first bag, uh, but we're on step 12. So, you know, Jason's saying hello to everybody. Already scored some foam. One half foam sheet is almost $30 a sheet. Wow. 
Uh, this is one inch thick foam, which is uh, really pretty great. Uh, what model was the Panasonic? This is the HC, uh, not this one. The, the overhead camera is not a Panasonic, uh, but this, this camera on this side and the camera on the other side are Panasonics. Uh, it's the HC V, what is it, Mr. Victorian? HC V180K. Um, we'll see. Yeah, this, this overhead camera uh, is a, is a very different camera. All right, so we're we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. We've we've almost got something that looks like uh, looks like track. I'm gonna need to remember to turn this around though, so I don't uh, don't mess up. That's it. So it looks like there are a couple people in here that can use some foam. Uh, remind me around 8.45, and I'll uh, I'll set up, I'll see if I can set up a giveaway for the foam. I've got a, uh, I got a little giveaway program thing uh, set up. Yeah, so what's running up there is the uh, Lionel locomotive from the New Hope and Ivyland Railroad set, and it is pulling... I think it's six, uh, six of the K-Line Circus uh, passenger cars is what it is uh, polling right now. So yeah, uh, do a randomizer. I am, uh, I've got something set up that uh, basically people can comment and, uh, ooh, look at this step. I didn't, I didn't see this step coming. I don't know if you can make that out or not. Let's see if I do this one. You flip it over and we're doing some stuff on the bottom. There we go. Looks like we're adding a, adding a little more structure to it. So the only foam I use is shaming foam. Uh, nothing's broken yet. Uh, B, yeah, B&H Photo is, uh, I got one on B&H Photo and I got another one um, on eBay actually. Uh, and then I got, uh, yeah, the refurbished are 219 and the new ones are 229. I mean, it's, it's 1080p 60, which for, uh, which for YouTube is great. And, um, Nancy, am I ignoring you? I saw that you said you had the set. Did you say something else that I missed? I know I'd asked you if you put it together. Oh, there you go. Uh, the train can actually get a motor that's sold separately. Yes, uh, you can get a motor or you can get this lighting LED kit and you can do one or the other. And I've decided that I'm not gonna do the whole track. I'm just gonna make this a shelf setup. So I decided instead of, uh-oh, uh uh-oh, uh there we go. Uh, so instead of getting the motor, I got the LED, um, the LED lighting kit. Fultz Belly Railroad, five dollars for replacement parts. I'm, I'm hoping that I'm not going to lose anything uh, this soon in the process, but you never know. So two of these, one on each end and 10 of these guys, five down each side. Yeah, you really don't need 4K. I, I've shot a couple things on my phone in 4K 60, and it, it is so difficult to edit that it's, it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. Every part for the train moves. Oh, really? The panographs and everything move on this? Uh, I'm not 100% sure, except that that's what it said on the, uh, on the instructions for the lighting. It, it basically implied that where you put the battery pack for the lighting is the same spot where you put the, the motor. So that was kind of the... Uh, <laughs> That would be fun. We do a whole uh, whole Lego thing. 
All right, so now it looks like we're doing something a little different here. Uh, we got two of these. Wait, I seem to have extra parts. Already got extra parts. So we got two and two. Nope, those are the same. I got two here of this. So now we're getting somewhere there. Lynn's got some band-aids for my sore figures after pressing all of those parts together. And the train freak wants glue. I think glue's a good idea. I don't know why, I don't know why people are so, uh, so against uh, gluing this, but I, uh, I think it might be a good idea. So let's see. So we got, okay, here are all the parts. Um, are these the right ones? Yeah, looks like these are the right ones. All right, so I'm building two of these. So I'm building one like this, and I'm building one like this, although they've got them like this. So it's this in the center. Nope, that's not right. This, it's like this. And then this goes like that. It looks like uh, little wings. <laughs> Mike, the real artist, to go towards your next Xanax prescription. Yeah, I'll probably, uh, probably need to do that. Oh, Backman's shooting in 8K now? Uh, I sure will not shoot in 4K, yeah. Yeah, I, I just, I, I did some stuff in 4K, and it, uh, the, the value that I got out of it just didn't match the, uh, the hassle for me. Um, so... <laughs> uh, according to Lego, the glue reacts with the plastic in a bad way. Uh, there's a spray you can apparently use after the kit is finished, but again, Lego does not recommend it. Interesting. Uh, Don Head says here $6 to not glue it. Um, oh, that's a good point, Nancy. If I glue this, then the train parts won't move. Uh, it would seem if the motor goes where the battery is, there's another spot for engine power or maybe, let's see. I mean, maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll see if we can squeeze both in there. <laughs> the conductor looks miserable. It doesn't, I'm following the directions. I'm, I'm not at the point in the directions where it says to put the, put the conductor together. Uh, so that was step 14. This is step 15, which says to put this here and put this here. Ooh, this is getting complicated. This is getting complicated. Uh, these go where? Like this? That seems weird. That seems weird. But that's what it is. That's what it's saying. I just realized I probably can't see what I'm doing. All right. So that was step 15. <laughs> Dwight wants glue. Uh, we can change channels. Who's changing channels? What's happening? Why are people leaving already? Um, we're, we're making track. You know, at the rate I'm going, who knows how long this is... I thought I was going to be able to do this in two streams. Like I thought this was going to be a pretty, uh, a pretty quick uh, process, but I don't know. This this might this might be taking long. Ooh, this might be taking longer than uh, than I think it's going to take. All uh, right, for the for the people that are worried about the poor little guy, as people were upset about the little guys. Um, so let's see. Oh, this guy gets a, so one guy gets a hat and one guy gets a hairdo. Oh, it looks like the guy with the, this guy's got mutton chops. 
So let's see how well this camera is going to work for this. Let's see if it'll focus. 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 Come on. I'm trying to get the overhead camera to focus so we can see the uh, see the little guy. So there's the little man. Should we make uh, give this guy the lunchbox maybe? And then this uh, this guy here will give the uh, the wrench. Oh. Back in focus, back in focus. There we go. Uh, what, what's the pull at, is Heath going to get done this? Oh, the pull, yeah. Uh, pull's not going well for me. If you look at the pull, not going well. Start a poll to name the Lo Lego crew. We can do that. Uh, how every misstep starts for Heath. He thought lol from Andrew. Thank you, Andrew. Uh, but is this actually a sidetrack Heath is building? <laughs> Kyan says, hurry up. He's got to go to bed. I know, right? Uh, Steve A said this is like watching the bridge crew with more progress. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Tim's going to do an upload. Yes, Randall, we are building a, a Lego crocodile. Um, why do I feel like something's wrong? I did something wrong already. We're going to fix it, though. I didn't realize there were different size lengths of these. Um, so some of these, let's see, what are we looking at? Uh, let's look at this other camera. So some of these are, are longer and some of them are shorter. And the long ones apparently go on the ends uh, like this. And then the shorter ones seem to go in the middle. But I kind of, I kind of goofed that up a little bit so let's uh let's maybe try and follow the directions i don't know oh i guess it probably really didn't matter at the end of the day no no musicals <laughs> who's singing mr bichtova did i did i miss it uh take the hat off to see if it has hair under the hat is uh not hair no hair under the hat. So that was step 17. We are on step 18. Okay, so step 18 says these guys go on here. Step 19 says I need one of these and one of these, but I don't see where it goes. Oh, it goes here. So it goes one there and then one here. This is interesting. So this is, uh, this is down here on this end. <laughs> I did actually look, I think there's like 274 uh, pieces. Oh, was I singing? Oh, that's that's not good. That's not good. Uh, yeah, I did have the joints lined up, which I realized uh, I messed it up. So, uh, but I fixed it. I fixed it. We're we're moving along now. Uh, so I, step twenty is fifteen of these pieces here. So it looks like I am just going to. It's actually pretty incredible that they come up with uh, with all these uh, things. Uh, Tom, I was hoping this was going to be a two-part series, but at the rate I am going, uh, this this could be uh, could be longer. Yeah, I think it's two seventy-four. Although I think it it starts over from one again once I get to the uh, once I get to building the actual locomotive, it starts over again. Yeah, that is, uh, that is true, Mike. That is true. Uh, when, when do I ballast the track? Steve 87 PSAT wants to know. I don't know. I don't know. 
Yeah, I could, if, we'll see how far I get. I might, uh, I might do some of it uh, Monday night on my own so that everybody doesn't have to sit here and watch me uh, do the whole thing. Yeah, uh, Andy's putting together a tiger, a Lego tiger, and he's on step 96, so. Uh, fingers aren't too bad yet. Fingers aren't too bad. <laughs> Artie, I hope it's not a 10-part a ten, uh, ten series. That would, be, uh, that would be long. Well, that's cool. How, so uh, how are they designed? I mean, I'm assuming it's all, I'm assuming it's on a computer. All right, so that's that. Uh, step 21 is the rail. So we're gonna you put the rail to, the rail's actually, uh, let's see if we can show this here. The rail's actually got some like uh, ridges on it. So, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm trying to move pretty, I, or I feel like I'm moving pretty quick on this. So ho hopefully it won't, uh, hopefully it, it won't be, be as long as one of my unboxings, but uh, it could it could end up being uh, that long. We'll we'll have to uh, we'll have to see. Oh. <laughs> you bet, not going to miss it. Book the day off. All right, so there's the there's the track. So that was step twenty one on page twenty seven. So we're moving along now. So number 22 is this guy going here. Number 23 is this. Uh, buh, 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 buh. I don't know what we do, but it's these parts it says. Let's see, it looks like, oh, I see this goes here. This goes here. So that, that's going in there, and then this is going here. And then, let's see, what do I do? Oh, we're gonna put the sticker on next, it looks like. Did I do this right, though? Why do I think something's not right? No, that's, that's right. One, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, so the good news is, uh, I have very few parts left over, so that's kind of the good news. Uh, you can see the, uh-oh, Alexa, stop. It's doesn't make a noise. I sent the STS guy two Lego GG1s on eBay, one in PRR. Oh, really? They Wait, they make Lego GG1s? I don't think I've seen a Lego GG1. Um, but the good news is I have very few, uh, spare parts. So let's do, where's the sticker? Here's the sticker. Let's see if I can put the sticker on without, yeah, I didn't think the Legos made a GG1 set. If they do, I want it. Ah, you know, putting this sticker on is probably the hardest part. It's almost square. Ah, Roy says they always include extra one-to-one -one pieces. Keith, look in STS chat. I don't, I don't have it up. I don't have, I don't have STS chat up right now. Oh, I see. This goes like that. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty, that's pretty fancy. Of course, it's slightly crooked, and my, uh, my OCD is uh, three hundred each. For the GG1? Oh. Yeah, this was only $99. I'm uh um that's that's more my style. Yeah, so that's that's all that was left over are those two little one by one pieces. And let's see, did I did I miss any steps? Let's see where we're at. Yep, nope. Uh, or yep, nope. Uh we are uh let's go this one. Uh, we're we're moving on to to the second to bag two is what we're moving on to and the wheels it looks like bag two and the wheels so uh, why don't we do let's do the foam giveaway let's see if this is going uh, to work yeah on e oh they're custom 
Gotcha, 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 gotcha. That makes sense uh, that they're custom. So they're not uh, they're not Lego made. They're um, whatever third party made. So that kind of makes sense. They also made a Santa Fe GP60M and a GP60B. Yeah, I'll stick to. Uh, <laughs> Uh, only took 55 minutes for, no, for bag one. Bag one took 55 minutes. Uh, yeah, th this was a $99 kit when it came out. I'll stick to, uh, I'll stick to the 99, but, um, so I'm going to try something. We're going to see if it's going to work. I don't, I don't know how this is going to go. Um, going to continue watching via the fire TV. See you later, Ray. Here we go. Okay. Six pieces of 24 inch by 24 inch XPS foam raffle has started for viewers. Uh, this is just for people in the US. If you're not in the US, I apologize, uh, but it's a big, it's a big box of foam. Uh, you know, 20, 24 by 24 inch pieces of foam, uh, the blue foam. So use uh, exclamation point XPS to enter the raffle. And I'm gonna let this run for about 10 minutes. Uh, so if people want the foam, put the, yes, uh, this kit, the crocodile kit was um, discontinued. So now when you look on uh, eBay or whatever for it, it's, it's much more expensive. So I found this at the, uh, at the show. So uh, people that are putting just exclamation point XPS, uh, that's not correct. You got to do exclamation point XPS underscore foam. So uh, Steve and Joe, make sure you uh, change it back and make sure uh, you want to get this response. Congratulations, you received one ticket. So that's how you know that you'll have uh, have entered. Oh, that's really cool, Nathan. Nathan, do you uh, have you done any scratch building with? Uh, have you done any scratch building with Lego stuff? So while people are entering, for those that want to enter, I'm gonna move the little people out of the way. I'm gonna move the little spare parts and the thing out of the way. And I am going to, I'm gonna open up bag number two as well as the wheels. So here are the wheels. Uh, so there's a bunch of wheels. And uh, I feel like these bags are in my way. So if, let's just get those bags up there. Okay. So we're gonna open up bag two. This could, uh, this could take a while. Uh, Artie, the reason it's US only is, uh, yes, I, I will ship it to anybody in the US. So um, yeah. Yeah, Tom, not only did I make it past step one, I am working on bag number two right now. Or bags number two. There, there actually happen to be uh, multiple, uh, multiple bags here. So, so yeah, we're on, uh, we're on number two. Yeah, here it is again for people that have missed it. Uh, only for people in the U.S., please. Uh, Nathan, I'll 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 check it out afterwards. I just I'm not set up to uh, check out uh, Messenger right now. <laughs> Rick says, "Give it to me. I'll do a local pickup." Rick, uh, enter and maybe if you win. Yeah, deep deep southern U.S. Uh, not quite, not quite. Um, why isn't my live chat isn't staying current? I don't know, High Plains, it does that sometimes. Uh, it does some weird things every once in a while. It is definitely uh, one of the mysteries of YouTube. Uh, Dwight, try again if you didn't get a ticket. Uh, oh, it may be uh, you're using uh, IPS hyphen foam. It's IP, or sorry, XPS, it's underscore. You see, that's an underscore versus you're using a hyphen. So you want to use a, a, don't use a hyphen, use an underscore. There you go. Yep, so we got lots of parts. 
Th this looks like it's where it gets, uh, this is where it looks like it gets exciting. So I need one of these. One of these and, oh, we're, we got to open up this package too. Yeah, this is the package that's got the little, uh, the little doohickeys. I can't see either. Is part of part of what makes this hard is uh, seeing. So this this needs to have a little like ball in. There we go. There's the one with the ball in. There's the one I need. Uh, yeah, there you go. Dwight got it there. Yeah, there you go, Dwight. Right here. Dwight's in. Okay, I probably shouldn't have dumped that that close to everything else, but we'll, we'll see. I do, I do kind of feel like I've got like a mix of salad right now. All right, so in the three hole side, that goes in there. All right, so that was that. I'm gonna, this is, uh, this is getting a little more uh, complicated than the, than the last ones. Yeah. It is essentially, right? I mean, it's essentially a uh, jigsaw jigsaw puzzle for stuff. Assembling the engines can be tricky. Great, now you tell me. Now you tell me. Okay, so I need, I don't know what the six is. It says one times six. Uh, they give me a little one-to-one -one up here. Okay, so it's not that guy. Might be one of these black ones. There we go. Black one there. Uh, got one of these here. And that goes through here. Nope. That's the wrong gear. This is the right gear. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Yeah, there's definitely uh, some uh, retired. Uh, Nathan wants to know, uh, what am I deciding for my next Lego set? Uh, Nathan, I, I have so many projects that I need to do uh, back behind me here that I'm going to try and finish this one and then move on to actually getting done uh, some of my other projects because I, I need to get some other projects done at some point. All right, so... I'm looking for something and it's in here. Um, I just noticed a comment from Roy over in the Discord. Uh, if you don't know, I've got a Discord. Um, people can go hang out over there and chat and hang out and all kinds of stuff. The link's in the description. Uh, another thing I do want to mention, uh, just need to thank everybody that our members that have done super chats, uh, members on Patreon or YouTube. I also have some sponsors uh, for the channel, uh, Mini Prints, uh, Iron Planet Hobbies, which does a bunch of DCC stuff, and then PGH Train Fanatics, which does uh, background flats. You can use the code HUMAN for a discount on those. We've got two minutes for people to uh, enter the foam giveaway. So far there are 18 people that are entered. Uh, I'm going to play my thank you video, and when we come back, uh, we'll see, and uh, we'll maybe pick a winner. It's all about humanity. I am so glad things are color coded or this would be so much harder to do. I'm, uh, 
I'm getting there. We're working on it. We got about 43 seconds left if anybody wants to uh, wants to join while we uh, while I make some uh, some stuff. So I'm confused, but it looks like it wants me to make another one. So that that's how you enter. If you still want to enter. I have a John Train BFGR. I have a couple of Lego train sets that are track powered. Yeah, uh, my dad's, oh, track powered. Oh, interesting. My dad's got some battery powered ones. There was foam all over Port Clinton, Pennsylvania Wednesday. Probably a different kind of foam. Uh, yes, Stephen, you guys are uh, my adult uh, supervision uh, for this one. So uh, yes, absolutely. I said X6 makes it six times. I need to make six of these? Is that what that number six means? Is that I make six of these? That doesn't sound, that doesn't. Hmm. That seems a little strange, but I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, you can no longer enter the giveaway, so the giveaway is over. So let me, let's get in here. Let's uh, blow this up a little bit. So I'm going to share the screen. Hopefully I'm not doxing myself. I don't think there's anything here. So people that have entered is Tim CP368 Productions, Adam Cruz, Wigwag Workshop, uh, Rick Fultz Bailey, Otter Creek in Rio Grande, Thomas Grassi, uh, Schuylkill River Valley, Steve 87, Peace App, Kenan, Manshed Railroad, Split Rock, Grandpa Rails, Norman Row, Ron Moen, Southern Yankee Trains, Conroe Nuts, Joe Raider, and Dwight Curley. Uh, usually I don't have the instructions in front. You build these without instructions. Uh, Stream Labs, you're mean. Norman, you got in here. You got yourself in here. Uh, so Otter Creek's giving us the drum roll. Uh, so what I'm thinking is I'm going to give away the foam and I'm probably going to hang out for a little bit. If people want to keep hanging out, uh, I've got a lot of work to do. And I think I'm going to try and uh, push forward a little bit more after we uh, after we pick a winner. So don't, you know, don't go away. Come uh, come hang out and uh, let's do it. OK, drum roll for anybody that wants to do a drum roll. And I'm going to click this pick a winner button. Um, I see more squares on the table to make the six. Oh, you do, that's true. Maybe I do need to make six of them. No, there's only one more square and I'm about to use this one square on the other end of this thing, so. All right, drum roll, Happy Valley's giving us a drum roll. And we're gonna pick a winner. Otter Creek in Rio Grande is your winner. Uh, hit me up on wherever Discord or, uh, you know, or wherever, and I will, uh, I'll get that shipped out to you as soon as, uh, as soon as I can. Phil Collins. Isn't it awesome that Phil Collins is the drummer? I mean, how awesome is that, right? At least I think it's awesome. Maybe somebody else doesn't. Grant Burrell says, congratulations, Dennis. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, so I'll get this shipped right out. Um, I'll try and get it out Monday. I got to go to site on Monday, so we'll we'll see uh, we'll we'll see if I can get it out Monday. But I'll get it out to you sooner than later. Uh, David, no, it's it's not it's not over yet. Uh, I still got still got some stuff on the bench. Uh, so I'm gonna keep going. Uh, so I've got this guy. I've got uh, this guy. I'm just um, I'm looking. I'm I'm working on this uh, these pieces and parts right here. Let's see. Oh, there goes that guy rolling away. I need uh, this guy here, which is the one to one. I need one of these, and I need one of these. And then we're gonna put this thing together again. So we've got this guy goes in here. Oh, interesting. So this guy is actually getting built backwards in the opposite orientation as the other one, which I guess is, makes sense if I can, there we go. I can get this actually together. 
Oh, Phil can't play anymore. Oh, I didn't know that. Phil Collins lives on 105th Street. Now, that said, I I would not recognize him if I've uh <laughs> careful Dennis, you might get smacked. All right, so there's that page. We're gonna flip to the next page. And so this, so the white is down. So, so this is, this is where, um, this is where I feel like I need to, I, I need, oh, come on. <laughs> I was about to say, this is where I need to focus. And of course it goes out of, uh, goes out of focus when I said that. Come on. All right, we're going back to this one. So on this one, the white part is down, and on this one, the white part is up. So we're gonna take this here, and this gear goes in here and then goes on there. And there we go. Now we've got, now I've, I've got something that looks like the picture. Now we move on. I guess I put this aside and we move on. I forgot you were a drummer, Lynn. I've seen pictures of Lynn in his band though. Uh, you can thank me for needing to human it in the, yes. Yeah, that's a good idea. Dennis can thank Container Man. Uh, yeah, Dennis gave up drumming to, due to no band. Yeah, that happens, uh, that happens as well. All right, so we've got this guy, and then we've got a guy like this, and this goes on here, like this. And then we've got two of these guys. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so that goes on there. I need one more of those. And then we get another square and we get another one of these guys. Now we're cooking with fire. Uh, Mr. Galton, I'll, I'll check out the picture after the show. Yeah, only 50 more to go, exactly. Uh, Steve kept getting hit with a wooden spoon. Is that because you weren't paying attention? Yes, I can count. I didn't even need my fingers or my toes. I was able to do it all um, all by just uh, just doing it just doing it. I'm trying to like I'm trying to think and work at the same time and if you've ever tried to think and and talk or whatever at the same time, it doesn't always work. It does not always work. Ugh, there we go. Gear assembly. So now let's see if I spin this with that. You know, the most, I, I you know, I, I don't know how this couldn't be excited to everybody, but it actually looks like the picture. Artie, I picked up a trailer load of foam one day. I thought about going to California and selling it. Uh, that, yeah, 12 stacks, eight feet tall, 48 feet long. Wow, that's a lot of foam. Ah, oh, I didn't realize that, that that's why you stopped the Lego projects. Didn't you, I thought you got the surgery though. Did that not make things, uh, did, did that not make things better? The carpal tunnel surgery? So I'm, I'm excited. We've got, uh, we're moving on. All right. So now we need these guys, four of them. One, two, it really is pretty neat that, I mean, you know, they figured all this out. They made all these parts. Somebody did, I mean, these instructions are, um, are really pretty fancy. One, two, three, I need one more. 
One more, do you see it? Here it is, we got it. And now I need two of these. And I need two of these little things that look something like these. And these go on here. Um, and these go on here. Um, Otter Creek, be sure to put a little Labelle's number six on your gear assembly. Uh, Labelle's is plastic safe, so, you know. Okay, now we need two of these guys. We got one going there and we got a second one going here. Now we need one of these and two, two more of those same little things that I had before, these here, one and two. This is probably would be easier to see if I wasn't building this on the, uh, on the on the black um, pages of the paper, but you know I'm doing what I can, doing what I can. So two of these, I need one here and one here. So this guy goes there, and this guy goes there, and now I need two of these green guys, and one goes here, one goes here. Legos Masters America and Australia are great shows to watch. Interesting. Uh, the High Plains Railroad having surgery on my right hand to get back dexterity in it. Looking forward to getting use of my hand again. Yeah. Oh, try and find Lego Masters. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. It, it would be pretty awesome if, uh, if any kits uh, came uh, with this sort of level of detail of, a, of, ascend of assembly. Uh, can we skip to the part where Heath breaks his glasses? No, because I won't be able to see. I'm freezing up. Oh, no. Oh, I just closed something I didn't want to close. Uh, I wanted to reset that, not close it. Oh, it does say uh, um, it is showing that things are red. I wonder. Uh, oh, now it's saying it's green again. Am I okay again? Because, yeah, Steve, you are not the first person to call me a jerk. That is uh, for sure. Um, yeah, my need to put up the tech was a bit choppy. Yeah, it looks like uh, I've, got, uh, I've got the green. I, I got green on uh, both sides again. So hopefully, hopefully we're back at it. Uh, what this stream is showing me is I may need to get a better GPU, though. Because uh, my GPU is getting close to the close to the limit. Okay, so I need one. Uh oh. I just heard uh, that just seemed to hit something. There we go. It's going again. We got the trains going. Uh, look at the box car. Yeah, I'll look at them later. Definitely. You guys, with carpal, uh, carpal tunnel, what was the repetitive motion that created it? My ex-wife was a programmer and has it. Yeah, I have problems every once in a while. Um, I used to use a mouse, and I, uh, I don't use a mouse anymore. I use trackballs because uh, I was having, uh, having problems. It's also easier if I was not changing cameras. But that's the fun part is changing the cameras. People want to see. Okay, so I need one of these, which is that, and I need the gear. So I need the gear that goes in here. Does anybody see the gear? I found the gear. There we go. Got that in there. That's kind of fun. It's kind of cool. You, you can spin, you know, you spin something in the... All the gears, uh, all the gears move. Uh, Container Man, thanks so much for uh, the foam. Thanks for coming by, and uh, we'll get that out to Dennis, and uh, that'll be awesome.
yeah, I, I have trackballs. I travel with trackballs, uh, you know, everywhere I go. Um, I, I can't do, uh, I can't do mice. I, I had a lot of, uh, a lot of problems, uh, with mice. So I, I got away from that and, uh, trackballs have been, have been great for me though. So now we're looking for four of these. Let's see. One, two, three. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I know no singing. I know. Where's the fourth one who can find it? Where's the fourth one? Somebody call it out. Yell out when you see it. I also need two, four of these. One, two, three. Oh, here it is. Uh, one more. Here we go. Night Roy, the foam pusher. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. Uh, John from Mystic Southern stopping by. Um, I do pretty good with the track pads as well. So, yeah, it's just like when you pull apart your scale locomotives for lubrication. Yes. Ooh, John, that's no fun. Every once in a while, I get real stiff neck problems, and I, I have... Uh, I have stuff like that that kind of happens for me, and I, you know, I gotta sort of work, work my neck out to, uh, to kind of loosen things up. So here we go. It's the way they like pick all the colors and get all the colors, you know, appropriate and everything. It's really kind of neat. I, this whole process, I, I just. I know I keep saying it and people are probably tired of me saying it, but um, it's really kind of neat. So do we think, do we think that that is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Okay, so those are them. And then I need some that are four. Do we think, nope, that's not it. Here we go. Got the right color there. So we know we're looking for a black piece of Lego. I can't find it. Does anyone see it? Anyone, anyone? You would think as I like was going through it that it would actually get, um, it would actually get easier to find stuff not high. <laughs> right there, no over. Yeah, exactly. Um, I do fairly well, like finding this kind of stuff, you know, just sort of being able to kind of like, oh, I'm here looking for a second one, thinking that there's two of them and, uh, uh, there's only one, which is, which explains why I can't find it. Oh, hold on. We need to go back a little bit. Okay, so the blue is still to the left. So this goes here and here. So I only needed one. So Artie has apparently got some mice. Uh, what about the hand? Do you have the eye of the tiger? Uh, they don't know with mine, it's not carpal tunnel. I've already had an elbow surgery to relocate my ulna nerve. Uh, Wednesday, they're gonna move a ligament from my ring finger and then move the tendon. Yeah, that's to your thumb, yep. Yep, yep. Uh, just so you know, your youngest nephew puts together 300 piece sets in less than two hours. So I got another half hour to go. Uh, I don't know how many parts this is. I don't know if it said. Does it say on the box? Uh, 1,271 uh, pieces. Uh, so Steve's got some mice in his garage, possum by organizing the train room while he watches. Organization is a good, good thing. Uh, man. It's pretty, uh, like how they decide, you know, how many parts to put in, you know, one set of stuff so that you can still, uh, you know, find things and whatnot. You know, the whole sort of process of doing this uh, so, you know, somebody has to figure this all out. Hold on. 
this is wrong. This is wrong. You're putting it together wrong. Uh-oh. I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it. I'm getting dingy. <laughs> uh, who should have we had on the show? Um, so what I was told is that the instructions in this kit uh, tell you how to install the kit with everything put together. So my plan is to put it all together and then go and uh, put the lighting kit in. At least that is, uh, that's how I read on um, Amazon. That's how uh, people were suggesting uh, to do the lighting kit. All right, so this goes here and here, but I need, need something like this, something like that to go there. Oh, nope. Oh, there we go. Now we got it. Now we got it. Should be eight plus hours. Jason's working on his ITLA building. Randall's eating. Edward, hamsters, gerbils still have a tail. We had hamsters as a kid, or I had hamsters as a kid. Um, let's see. So here we go. Now I'm just trying to collect some of these parts. They say here two, 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 and two, and two, two, and two little covers like this. Uh, so there we go. So this goes here, this goes here, and here. Uh, this one goes here and here. I suggest you look at the box before you finish the engine. Which box? For the lighting? Or for something else? Um, okay. So we need six more of these. One, two, three, four, five. Is everyone impressed by my ability to count? That's really what this whole stream is about, is just um, is just trying to impress people with my counting ability. So I need one of those. Why do I have a feeling that is going to be hard to find? Uh, da, 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 da. It's brown, and it looks like that. There we go. Now I need four of these other pieces. I need two, two of these. I started pulling these out. Okay. And then I need four of something that looks like this. So let's see. One, two, three. One more of those. Bueller, where are you at? Come on. You do have to be pretty awake to be able to find all these things. They start like when you start uh, glazing over or whatever, you start losing track of things. Lynn McCurdy, interesting how each of our minds work. Heath was worried about the sticker being crooked. I would have sorted all the parts by size and color before starting. That is kind of interesting, right? How we all sort of see things in a different, uh, you know, in different ways. Um, I'm pretty good. So part of uh, part of what mechanical aptitude and spatial awareness means is that, like, I can look at one side of thing and know what the other side is based on sort of like the picture of what I'm looking for. Uh, so while it probably would be better if I would sort everything first, um, I do a decent job just sort of just sort of jumping in. So that's kind of. Kind of just what I've been doing is just, uh, you know, just jumping in. And uh, luckily, the, the couple mistakes that I've made, I've been able to go back and correct uh, pretty quickly. Uh-oh. Look at what we're up to now. I don't know where. Oh, the rubber bands are in here, I bet you. Wow, we're putting the... 
This is this thing's gonna be rolling already. Hold on. Hold on. They're like, I don't know which ones I need. I need four, but which four? Oh, probably two and two, right? So I probably need probably need these like this. Uh, I think sorting is kind of called knolling, canoling. Uh, you have to say, ah, ha, ah, after every count. Uh, so growing up, I worked at Sesame Place Theme Park. And the first season that I worked there, I worked in retail. And one of the retail jobs was uh, working in the photo booth where you would take a Polaroid picture of a kid in like a scene and like sell it to the parents, right? So one of the scenes was the Count's car. Uh, and, um, you know, kids would be just terrified of, uh, of the Count because, you know, he's kind of scary. So, uh, you know, you'd be like trying to take a picture and the parents would all be like, you know, wanting to take pictures of the kids and it was not easy. All right, four, four and four. Why do I have so many? I don't know why I have so many wheels. Uh, I did I, I did the sorting sometimes. My biggest problem was keeping the pieces out of the mouth of my dog. What's the difference between a sound engineer and an accountant? Wheels, yes, we're on wheels. Counterweights, uh, I don't know. Uh, I think Andy is uh, is singing, and Norman is Norman is wondering if Andy's okay. I think that is a question a lot of us ask ourselves. Uh oh. So we're oh, putting the pieces of rubber on. Uh, a sound engineer can't count past two. Yes. Artie, do you know why? I know I know why a sound engineer can't count past two. And and I seem to have lost. Oh no, it's right here. I thought I lost something. All right, who knows? Besides Greg, who knows why a sound engineer cannot count past two? Do you remember the Burton Ernie skits? I don't remember the Burton Ernie skits. So according to the instructions, all of these want to go down, 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 down. There we go. I don't know. I don't know about anybody else, but uh, uh, that's pretty cool. That is pretty darn cool. Sound engineer says, test one, two. Yes, but why do they never count past two? That's the question. We'll see, we'll see if anybody knows. All right. Um, of course, it's impressive, but I still have all these parts out here. And all these parts, I'm sure, go to something. So, hopefully we'll figure out what all the rest of these parts go to when I turn the page. Okay. What in the world is that? I don't know what that's a picture of. Oh, this. That's a picture of that. Let's go back to this camera because I like being able to show. So that's, I'm looking for another one of those. And then I'm looking for two of these like bar things, but not these bars, different set of bars. I don't need that. Um, I'm impressed. <laughs> no, it's not because the boss will hit them with a two by four. Yes, this is only the, uh, this is only the center section. We still have the, we still have the, the crocodile part. 
Uh, I barely remember them from Randall says, didn't realize until I saw one of them uploaded on YouTube, but Ernie was a low key savage dude. They were. Uh, you only have two tests. Oh wait, that's different. Has no, nobody's answered it yet. Why, why audio people don't count past two? Or at least I haven't seen the answer yet. Uh, ba -ba -ba. I don't know why, but singing, like, if I start singing, I, I'm hoping that, like, these, these pieces will jump out at me. There we go. See? It worked. It worked. There's that piece. So what we're building, we're starting to build the drive bar part of it. Here's the other one. The dry bars, what are they called? The the bars that like go up and down and uh, nope, not because two is a transient number. Checking the frequency associated with the consonants, no need for three or four. No. Uh, check one, two, check one, two. Otter got it. Where did Otter get it? The, uh, th that's not a that's not the reason. There you go. John Train BFGR. Knows the answer on 3U lift. Sound guys, the, the joke is that sound guys never lift. So that's why they just say one, two, one, two. And they never uh, they never lift. So that's that's the big joke. Uh boy. This is starting to get uh this is starting to get kind of fun. Lift with your back, lift with your knees. Side rods, there we go. Uh, didn't go to a real engineering school. Yeah, exactly, Norman. Sound guys don't lift anything. Uh-oh. So something that I did is I turned, oh, there we go, okay. So the brown piece, um, I, the, the, the left and the right of this are slightly different. And it's got a brown piece on the back side and none on the front side. And I had turned it around, so I wasn't, uh, I, thought I, might, I thought I might have an issue, but I got it. I got it all together. So I need two of these, and I need one of these. So I need one more of these pieces here. One more of these. One more. Just one. There we go. One, one, one. So now we now we do the stackaroo. Stack them up. Suck them, stack them. Yeah, I think I might be losing it just a little bit. It's been snowing. Is it a snowing here? I hope it's not snowing here. Then it says it's a lie. I listed more gear than I could count. I know it's a lie, but it's pretty funny, though. You got to admit, it's pretty funny. All right, so now we're going to make two. We're going to make two of these assemblies right here. Uh, so it looks like I need one of these. And I need one of not those. Not those. One of these. And we're gonna go like this. So I guess I should make both of these at the same time, right? There's no reason not to make both at the same time. That way when I mess one up, I will be messing up both of them at the same time. And then we need uh, one of these and one of these. And that's gonna go there and there. And we put this guy here and this guy here. <laughs> Humans lost his mind playing with Legos at his age. Uh, serious answer, the word two is almost perfect for testing a system because over the length of the word's pronunciation, you hit nearly the entire audio spectrum and it's a plosive. The T is a is a plosive, so you can check the you can check that part of it as well. 
Uh, if you don't know what a plosive is, I am not the person to explain it. Uh, oh. Uh, so we're getting somewhere. This is this is starting to starting to look like something. Uh, those are brakes. What are brakes? Oh, what I'm working on right now are brakes. And I need the one little piece on the end. If I can get so my goal, and we'll see if I can do it. My goal is to finish this off. I think I think when I get past this stage. I think I'll be in a pretty good place um, and we'll probably uh, call it a night. So uh, thank you to the 44 people that are still hanging out or some that just showed up. Uh, appreciate, really appreciate everyone being here. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna basically push through and finish, uh, finish what's here and then uh, take a little nap and get up for uh, work. Cause that's, uh, that's what's uh, that's what's gonna happen. So now uh, I need six of six of these. So we're just uh, just putting this together. Boop -ba -doo. I wonder if anyone's done a YouTube video on uh, on assembling on assembling one of these. I think that would be kind of uh, I don't know if anybody would watch it, but I'm, <laughs> it might be interesting if I run into a problem. It'll, it'll help me, uh, it would help me solve, uh, solve a problem, sort of figuring out like where, you know, where did I go wrong or something. I agree, Norman, I could not agree with you more. I, this is, uh, I, I mean, I love model railroading for the, uh, you know, for sort of this, this part of things as well. Uh, but there's something about just kind of getting the, getting these Lego things going that I think are just, uh, just a lot of fun, you know, just really a lot of fun. Uh Oh, I almost, uh, almost made a mistake. Andrew's on step 195. Uh, I'm on step 40 but it started over again uh, when I started this part. So I don't know, I don't know what, what step I'm, I'm actually on because, well, you know. Uh, at this point, at this point, I'm, I'm starting to, uh, <laughs> starting to jump around a little bit with, uh, with things, not finishing one thing and starting another. And uh, when I do that, uh, that's, that's going to be, that's going to be when I start making, uh, mistakes. So we're going to, we're going to try to avoid, try to avoid making mistakes. What I'm looking for is the brown, this guy, the brown two, two banger. And then I need the other, the other flat for up here. Uh, there are Lego channels. That is true. That is true. Uh, I'll do, uh, I will do more past P's, B's, and D's are plosives. Is T not a plosive? P, I guess T isn't a plosive. But, uh, oh yeah, I guess a, a T isn't a plosive because it's made with the tip of the tongue on the teeth. Uh, yes, in Swedish. Why did they build a Swiss locomotive in Swedish? Uh, oh, uh, need one of those one hour long unboxings that look at each piece with commentary. Hey, if you ask, if you want it. All right, so I put something together wrong. We're gonna fix it. Ugh. How do you take apart the pieces that don't have, uh, that don't have the little nubbins on them? That's the real question. Uh, might be worth getting a small hammer. Uh, Give the Lego a slight tap to knock it in better. I hadn't, uh, I hadn't heard that before. Uh, I'll surely get lost now. I'm sure I will. Uh, still thinking about getting it one, but probably won't. So you'll have more inheritance. There you go. I appreciate that. 
What paint scheme are you always mentioning in chats? I don't know, pliers, I got pliers. Use the tool, oh yeah, from the bottom. Yeah, I could take it apart and use the tool from the bottom. But I don't wanna use the tool from the bottom, I wanna use the tool from the top. All right, so we need two of these little curved jammer rammers. And yes, that's the technical term for it, jammer mammers. One, two. Jammer mammer, where's number four? Number four, jammer mammer. Come out of hiding. There we go, there's number four, and I need four of these guys that I keep, I kept trying to put these on uh, other places. And now I get to actually put them on. So, looks like these go on this side. That's looking like it's right. And now these guys go on here. Use the orange tool, the narrow end. Oh, I get you. Look, there's like a little, uh, a little pry bar. I know if I was a professional, I would, uh, I'd use the tools, but being as I'm not a professional, I am just, uh, I'm just doing it. I don't know. Back in my day, when I was a kid, we didn't have Lego tools. We had to use our hands. Yes, I just said that. Has anyone seen the YouTube channel that built the Death Star using minifigs as builders through stop motion animation? I have not seen that. That is pretty cool. It's actually your larynx that makes the vocal sounds. Okay, so now we've got a couple of these jammer whammers. There we go, there we go. One, two, three, one more jammer whammer. Oh, where's the dog biscuit? There we go, there's another jammer whammer. And these guys go on the end here. So one of the things I do like uh, when you're building these is like you don't you don't really know where it's going. <laughs> uh, we got we got a couple of people saying just use your teeth. <laughs> oh, I hope nobody's dentist is uh, is watching right now. Uh, but what I was about to say is one thing I really like is that you know I'm building this piece right now. And, you know, I kind of have a sense of where it goes uh, as far as the, the other Lego the other Lego section. Uh, but it's really actually kind of cool to just sort of like be putting something together with, without really knowing how it's going to end. I do kind of like that, just sort of, you know, trusting, trusting in the instructions, that the instructions are taking you down the proper path and that they will not lead you astray. And that, uh, you know, when you, when you get to the end, you will have, uh, you know, you'll, you'll have gotten to the right spot. All right, so now I need one of the, look at this, it's got, uh, let's see if that'll focus on that, will it? Come on, come on, focus on that. Uh, it is not wanting to focus on that at all. Let's see if I move it closer. Come on. There we go. Oh, nope. Come on. It's close to wanting to focus, but not quite. It's like there's just not quite enough information for it to focus. Okay, there we go. Oh, it was focusing. And then of course, when I switched to the camera, it stopped. Uh-oh, not the Tamiya glue headache. Uh, when, when does pay, yes, they do, they do. Come on, focus, camera focus. 
Um, so this has the uh, reporting marks on it, which I think is kind of cool. So it looks like one of the, you know, one of the things on this is uh, putting, putting the reporting marks on. I'm going to, I'm making a little bit of an assumption that the reporting mark should go on the, on the opposite ends of the two. So I put the, I put the reporting marks on the one side, you know, assuming that it's going to be like, you know, something like this on the train. So. So that was that's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. Uh oh. See, and this is why you don't skip things because I missed. I jumped from this step over to here without paying attention, and I and I almost missed something. So we we got to go back. Uh, we got to put these these Wemo jamos go on here. Yeah, it, the problem the problem is I am very very close. I mean, you can see the lens in the in the camera. I'm just so close to it um, that it's just you know it has a hard time. It's a macro lens. Um, you know, it's kind of a. You can see here's the oh nope you can't see the camera. I was trying to get it go low enough. It won't go low enough. But uh, yeah, it, it hunts. Um, I could manually focus everything. You know, I, I, I wish I could use more of the autofocus, but yeah. Yeah, Flymo, if you've got a bridge, you definitely do not want to be chewing on Legos. That is for sure. Uh, if anybody's wondering too, all the trains are actually still running. At least as far as I can tell, everything's still running. Uh, we got that going over there. Did I did I put these in the wrong place? Oh, they don't go. <laughs> they don't go on the center. They just go on the outsides. So I should have two more somewhere. Oops. But they do just go on the outsides. Now I'm starting to make mistakes. Now I gotta look at the look at the instructions a little bit more closely. Uh, trains are still running up top as well. Of course I switched to it when nothing's up there. 2.45 a.m. Woohoo! Good night, Flymo. Thanks for uh, stopping in for a sec. Joining us over on the other side of the pond. So this is the step that we've all been waiting for. This step right here. We're going to put the Mammer Jammers onto this guy. Whee! Uh, yep, so I still got it in the right orientation. Uh, so it looks like this guy should maybe go here. Nice. Look at that. And this guy will go on the other side. Look at that. Look at that. It's like a rolling thing. All right. So I need one of these guys to help lock it in. It's so smart the way they use the... Use the Legos to lock in, uh, lock in the other Legos. Yep, <laughs> they do hurt, John. If you if you step on them, uh, they definitely hurt. Uh, time saver. I don't I don't have the cameras turned on on the time saver right now, so that's why I I unfortunately can't uh, uh, can't pop over to it. Oh. I put these in the wrong place. I'm gonna move these over here. See, I'm making mistakes, but I'm figuring it out. So this is pretty cool. I don't know if you'd see it in that camera. Putting that, uh, putting that piece on right there. This just, uh, this just pops in here. 
I'm going to assume there's another one on the other side. Let's see if I can find it. Yep, there we go. That's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. So now we're going to add another gear. So this guy and this guy uh, adds another gear up top here, it looks like. So, well, oh, almost, uh, almost dropped it on the floor, but we caught it. So there's that gear there. Pushes through. Man, I, I'm like, I feel like I'm gotta be getting close to something, but there's still so many pieces out. Locomotive kind of looks like the one in the episode of Galaxy Railway's Tiled Engine Song. How many chuggas to Choo Choo? That's a good question. I don't know the answer. Uh, trying to keep it in the correct orientation for the instruction book because I don't want to get too far off uh, kilter and then, you know, be, be in a bad, bad spot. Uh, so here we go with that. And I need another one of these. One of those, two of those, and two of these. So we got, let's see. So this is gonna go like, this, this goes here. You know, next time we could, we should do this as like a build along or something. We could have uh, everyone get one and we could all, uh, we could all be putting them together, together, put them together, together. Okay. Now we're on to, it looks like a whole nother, uh, a whole nother thing. Uh, so there's there are more gears, gears to be made. Uh, let's uh, let's get into it. So we got one of those, and we've got one, two of those, and this is what we're making. There we go. And then we need two of these and the little nubbins go to the inside. What are these called? Oh, now it's all. What are these things called? The little, the little like nubbin things. Does anyone know what the nubbins are called? I do not know. Do not know the name of the nubbins. Okay, Ooh, almost skipped a page. We're on step 50, cruising along now, making things happen. We're gonna win, we're gonna win. We're gonna make this look like a locomotive, at least the center part of a locomotive. Uh, we got some uh, fans, look at that. Wow, those fans are cool. Let's see if it'll focus on the fans. That fan's kind of cool. That's really cool, that fan. Uh, you have a crocodile and I have a tiger, similar but different. Uh, people are discussing the number of chuggas to the number of chews. Yeah, the male and the female parts. Uh, yes, everyone on the street can go and buy a hundred two hundred dollar Lego kit. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, Steve says those are the Audis. Uh, build a Lego station. That's that's an interesting idea. This is going to be a, a static display, uh, or at least that's what I want it to be as a static display. So I'm not I'm not completely sure what I'm gonna do with it, but uh, that is definitely an idea. I, I don't know how much of what I'm doing right now is decorative and how much of what I'm doing right now is, uh, is functional.
do it as a Lego challenge. It is kind of crazy how expensive Legos have gotten. I mean, this is this is clearly an 18 plus set. Okay. Two of these, part 61 says one on one side and one on the other side. Yeah. Tim, I know, right? Exactly. Exactly. Oh, that's a good idea. Get a PGH station flat that is in uh Lego scale. That's actually, a, that's actually a really good idea. Uh, Lynn says, the bumps, bumps on a Lego brick are called studs. I never would have known that. Okay, so apparently we're done with that for a second. And we're going to move on to this. And then we're going to add a thingamajiggy. And the thingamajiggy goes in there like that. Ooh, this... This looks like, this looks like somebody might be sitting on this. Definitely looks like somebody might be driving this. Uh, let's see, what am I trying to do? Uh, I need a, I need a little thing with a little thing sticking up. This, I need this. I need that. And I need this, and I need this. And then we've got a wheel. And we've got the brake handle, or the, is this the brake handle or the go handle? Ha, <laughs> there you go, Don. I like it, instead of NMRBO, you can do NLMBO, nice. Ah, uh, there we go. We got confirmation. They're called studs. Uh, that is new information to me. <laughs> here's another. Uh, here's another cool, cool little thing. Check those out. Let's see if uh, we can get it to focus on them. Maybe. Maybe if I move that. Come on, Liz. Focus. <laughs> uh oh, is already back in. Uh, Already getting the talking to again. Oh, <laughs> the second I switched, it, it was focused, and then the second I went to switch to it, it, it changed. Okay, there we go. Uh, check these out. The little instrument clusters. These go on. Uh, these go on here as uh, as the little uh, dials and stuff for the for the locomotive, and then they. Uh, they clip here so they can flip up. That's kind of fun. Ah, interesting. So I was supposed to make two of these, which we can do. We can make another one. I've got, I've got the ability and we've got the parts. So we can make a second one of these and then, uh, then looks like we got a driver going forwards and a driver going backwards. Uh, now I need to look back here to see so that I don't mess this up. So there we go. Got this guy over here. We got uh, this guy with the gauges on it. We got this guy here. This guy goes here. Gauges on. I feel like I got a lot of extra brake levers and stuff. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how many brake levers I need, but maybe I should put more on. Two hours later, we're still not done. Dwight, there's over a thousand parts. Uh, the go handle is called the throttle. There you go. I like calling it a go handle. So this. This now goes, I'm looking at part 68. So this now goes like this. Let's go this and this like this. And now we got a little, uh, now we got a little whole thingamajiggy assembly here. Put that down, see it in both directions. And now, oh, funny. 
So uh, I put the wrench and the box with the guy, right? But apparently that's what this little, uh, that's what the little hook is for, is for that. So <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> Why is there a steering wheel? Because it's not a steering wheel. It's probably a brake wheel or something. I don't know. John wants to know what I'm making. Uh, John, I am making uh, this crocodile right here. So uh, that's what we're making. It's an 18 plus for adults only type of operation. So it looks like part 70 is this just kind of goes on top like this? Is that it? Just like that. Is that, oh, uh oh. I'm confused a little bit. I'm a little confused. I don't really understand. I mean, I guess that's all, right? That's all it says to do is put it on top. Hi. Let's put it on top. Press it down a little bit. Make sure it doesn't make sure it doesn't fall out. So I seem to I seem to have something going on. All right. Here we go. We're moving on. Now we're onto the clear pieces. Clear piece. Little clear piece. Another clear piece. Another little clear piece. And then we got two thingamajiggies. Who's the what's it? Who's the what's it thingamajiggies? This goes there, this goes there. Make the second one. Goes on the sides. Maybe that's a rheostat. I don't know what they are. I was hoping somebody, uh, might know, but I'm assuming it's the brake wheel, but I don't know. Uh, it's a British prototype. I, I believe this is actually a Swiss locomotive. Oh. Apparently. The G scale had stopped. I didn't notice it. Uh, four times. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's it's definitely Swiss. Oh, uh, where did you post it? Under real trains? Oh, no, I see it now. So this, let's uh, let's zoom in. This is the real inside of a crocodile. So it does have that wheel. Whatever that, uh, whatever that wheel is, it's a, it's a real thing. Yeah, with a wheel, there you go. Hmm, steam valve. I don't, you can see not, there, there are some numbers around it, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But I don't know what the, so wheel is like a rheostat. But what is it rheostatting? Oh, because it's electricity? Yeah, that would be cool. That would be awesome. All right, so now we gotta do, boy, this is getting, it's, I feel like I'm, it's, it's either starting to get complicated or I'm starting to get tired. Uh, it could be a little bit of both, but we're, uh, uh, we're, we're getting so close to finishing this that I, I just like, I, I don't want to stop now. Like I just, I want to get this done. I want to make this happen. Uh, so we're, we're making it, we're getting there. We're, uh, all right. So. This goes on to here. This goes on to here. And then this gets capped. 
So let's see if the jib is going to cooperate and we'll see. But this goes on to here. Nope, that's wrong. This goes on to here. This goes on to here. And then this goes on the front. So we're making, uh, we're making four of these. So that and that, that and that, that, that. I know I'm getting tired. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely getting tired. Oh, there are only 15 of these made. Wow. Uh, so Steve's here because he didn't want to shovel the driveway. <laughs> uh, okay. So it looks like these go like this. Here. Oh. Come on. There we go. So they just went on right here, these pieces. And now there's a, another piece of these four. Hey, the, the pile is getting smaller over here, so so hopefully we're hopefully we're going in a better direction. Better direction? Hopefully we're going in a good direction. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. I think we're getting. I think we're getting close. One, two. So these go up here. Kind of clean up the ends a little bit. You know, I keep like turning this thing around. And I mean, so far it's pretty, pretty symmetrical, but Hopefully I'm, I'm not making any sort of big mistake. Okay, so now we need four of these. Uh, so these guys are gonna go up top here. And now we're locking everything together. Locking together, locking it together. Yes, it's an electric engine Heath. Uh, we had the big wheels like that for the generators on the ship, but for startup, oh, but wait, we did have those wheels for DC operation. Hmm. Um, I, yeah, so I mounted the toolbox on the one side. I feel like this guy though was gonna be still working on the, working on it. So I didn't, uh, I didn't mount the wrench yet, but I can mount the wrench as well. I guess, I mean, at some point, I guess I gotta put these guys like actually inside this. Is that the, it doesn't show the people inside it yet, but maybe that's the, the plan at some point is to put the people inside. All right, so this goes here. So smart the way they like build this so that the pieces like, like finish it off. It's really, it's really smart. So what we got are, are these pieces here cover this to, uh, to clean everything up. Nope. Oh. So smart. And then uh, these go on top here. All right. Now we're getting to somewhere. All right, so now we got eight of these little guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And these guys, I don't know what they do. Does anyone know what these are for? Go down the side. Move the ca camera farther. No, that's not the issue. It's just, uh, it's just the nature of it. Um, man, I need to get out and do some work. The sun's out. I know, John. I know. Like, I, I don't. Uh, I guess the question is, this is probably going to take more than just Tuesday. How much of this should I do tomorrow night in preparation for Tuesday? So that's basically it. I mean, the next the next step is step three, or not step three, but uh, package three. Uh, yeah, yes, it's still the same stream. 
Uh, grab rail. Oh, grab rails to go into the cabs. There you go. That makes that makes a lot of sense. Uh, so number three is the top, adding the pantographs. So that's the that's the next step. But you can uh, we can start to get a sense of. So it either goes on there, or I'm guessing that this is, uh, you know, if it's going to be a fixed display, that's probably uh, that's probably how it mounts for the fixed display. Yep, bag two done. Bag two done. Handrails, grab bars or handrails. So I don't know about the rest of you, but. We got a lot done tonight. We got a lot done tonight. Um, basically, there, there are four sort of main packages, right? So there's, there's um, we still have, uh, we still have three and we still have four. Four seems to have a lot more stuff. And uh, that's what we got. Let's do it Tuesday. So I don't know if I'll be on a, so uh, two options, I guess, are I can do some work on it before Tuesday. And then on Tuesday, we can do the lighting kit. So the thought is to get to the point where I can do the lighting kit on Tuesday, which means that I would need to get more of this done uh, before Tuesday, otherwise Tuesday is going to end up being, uh, you know, a really long, a really long stream. So I'm, I'm kind of thinking that that's the thing to do is to uh, keep moving on this uh, tomorrow, uh, get some more of it done, and then on Tuesday we'll do the, uh, we'll do the lighting kit. Um, so yeah, I think that's. Uh, I think that's a good plan. So thank you all for coming. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you for the 40 some people that uh, stayed to the end. I hope you found this kind of interesting. I know it's not typically, uh, you know, typical model railroading, but uh, I, you know, I enjoy just assembling things and I thought it was interesting to kind of follow along with the Lego instructions and make this happen. And uh, I, hope, uh, I hope people have had a good time. So uh, from the city that never sleeps, farewell model citizens.